Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at different aspects of research methodology and let's look at the objectives of research. What objectives can one have? So of course the most common one or the most obvious one is generation of new knowledge, right? So you are doing some experiments, you get some results and they are going to serve as new knowledge. Then of course every time it need not be something new. It could be something already existing and you want to probe it further. Then you may also wish to construct or create a new procedure or a system. For example, when you are looking at nanomaterials, there are some methods of synthesis. But with research, someone might come up with another new method which has further advantages as compared to the methods already available. Then it could be testing a particular hypothesis pertaining to a theory like a causal, uh, causal relationship between variables and you want to verify with an experiment or identify some patterns or trends related to the problems. Then of course we, we are basically discovering the answers to the questions that we have and for that we apply a scientific method and discover the hidden truth or something which is not yet discovered, undiscovered truth. We may also want to uh, gain, uh, become familiar with some uh, phenomenon which is already there, but you want to explore the layers of that phenomenon which have not been seen so far. So exploratory or formulative kind of research. Or you may want to uh, portray uh, the characteristics it could be of a particular individual or a situation or a group. So this is more of a descriptive kind of a research. And there's also diagnostic research where one determines the frequency of occurrence of events, right? So different things and as, as I had mentioned, like there could be several more. We have seen some representative objectives of research. Thank you.